Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Nothing One. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one starts at 400 bucks. Now on a side note, this phone is not available in the USA, but it'll work in the USA. Now if you want it, you're gonna have to get it from a third party seller, something like eBay or Alibaba, and they're gonna charge you a little bit more. Now I paid 600 bucks for this one on eBay. Is this phone really worth 600 bucks? The answer is yes and no. Yes, if you love the lights on the back, but no, if you're looking for the best bang for your buck. Now in my opinion, the Xiaomi 12, that's the best $600 phone out right now. And that phone basically beats this phone in every department. But if you love the lights, you love the innovation, then yes, it's totally worth 600 bucks and it'll totally work in the USA. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. Now this one comes in two different colors. You got black and white. For the display, you got a 6.55 inch OLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2400. Now that's 402 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and on the back with an aluminum frame, or as we say in America, aluminum. Okay, you got the aluminum frame. It's IP53 splash resistant, up to 700 nits brightness and a 120 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G with the Adreno 642 L GPU. Now, what does that mean in English? Mid-range specs, bro. Mid-range specs. Now, you got 8 or 12 gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now, it's running Android 12 with nothing OS 1.1 skin on top. Now, you got a 4,500 milliamp battery that features 33 watt fast charge. Now, nothing claims you can charge your phone from 0 to 50% in 30 minutes. You also got 15-watt wireless charge and 5-watt reverse wireless charge, also known as PowerShare. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a dual setup. So you got a 50-megapixel wide-angle and a 50-megapixel ultra-wide. On the front, you got a 16-megapixel wide-angle lens. Now, on the front, you can shoot video at 1080, 30 frames per second, and on the rear, 4K at 30 frames per second. Now you got dual stereo speakers, Bluetooth 5.2, NFC, always on display, on-screen fingerprint sensor, and my favorite feature, the glyph lights on the back. All right, so all of that for 400 bucks, let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes. White shoes. Calm down. Okay, here we go. The Nothing One. Now, as you can see by the slimness of the box, there's no charge in there. I don't like that. But the name of the phone is Nothing, so <laughs> so I can't really be too mad. They, they, they said it with the name. Nothing, you get nothing in the box but the phone. And you got to respect that in some kind of way. Now, for this box, no unboxing knife necessary. You just peel this little... Okay, okay, hold up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Peel this little sit tab all the way around. Okay. Ah. Okay, now try not to do it like this, but it is what it is. Okay, unboxing experience. Let's see what you get. Now, this is going to be your device. And let's see. This is... Now, this should be your usual books and shit. Why not? Okay, matter of fact, you do get something in the box. Oh, look at this. Now, I actually do have the white version also. I've been using it for a couple of weeks, but I never really unboxed it. Look at the um, unboxing tool. Now, see now, this kind of stuff makes me happy. No charge in the box, but I like this. You know, it kind of has that transparent look. Okay, same as the back of the phone. Okay, that's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. You do get a charging cable. Okay, so this is USB Type-C to USB Type-C. And of course, you got your usual books and shit. Okay, pluck them and file them. Read them at your leisure. Okay, now for the actual device. Let's get to slide this off. Right. <laughs> okay. Now that, that should have been a lot easier. Bong, here it is. The Nothing One. Now this is the black version. This is the white version. I gotta do the smell test on this one. Mm! Smells like innovation. Innovation. This is something new right here. Now, we're going to talk about the things that I don't like. Some of them are kind of petty. 
But there's a lot about this phone that I do like, and at 400 bucks, you're gonna be hard pressed to find a better phone for that but for that uh for, for that price. 400 bucks, you're getting wireless charge, reverse wireless charge, always on display, face unlock, fast charging. This is pretty dope. On-screen fingerprint sensor. I mean, you pretty much got a lot of the flagship specs, but they're just a little bit watered down. And we'll talk about that in a minute. All right, so now let me pause the video. Oh, before I even do that. As a matter of fact, yeah, I will do that. Let me pause the video. Let me set up this black one, and then we'll walk through the OS. Now, on a side note, another side note. The reason I ended up buying this black one is I'm having one issue with the one that nothing sent me. Now, y'all know me. Before I make a real review on a product, right, if I'm going to call it a real review, that means I got to spend some real money for it so I can give y'all my real customer opinion. Now, there's one thing about this phone that I was having an issue with, and I wanted to make sure that I'm having the same issue on both of these phones before I turn around and say, oh, I, don't, I hate that feature. I want to make sure that, that same issue works on both of these. So we're going to do that. All right, so let me set everything up. In the meantime, talk amongst yourselves. All right, so now we got to talk about the charger. Now, this phone does not come with the charger in the box, so if you want that 33-watt fast charging speed, you're going to have to buy another charger. Now, nothing sells their 45-watt charger for 40 bucks. But I would say this. If you're going to spend 40 you might as well spend 60 and get my favorite charger, the Ugreen GAN Fast Charger. Now, this one is going to run you 60 bucks. It's on Amazon. I'll throw the link up in the description. This one is going to give you 65-watt fast charging speeds, and it has three ports. Okay, the nothing one is a single port charger. This one has three ports, so that means you could charge three devices at the same time. Let's check this one out. Now this one has three ports for fast charging. Okay, you got a foldable plug that makes it perfect for travel. You got smart protection and a flame retarded material. Let's get and check this one out. Okay, now inside of course, got your usual books and shit, no need to go through those. This is gonna be your portable fast charging brick. Now when I say portable, that's because the prongs fold up. So you can fold these up, throw them in your pocket, you're good to go. But more importantly, three ports. Okay, so you got USB-A and two USB type C's. Let's get and plug this in and try it out. All right, so I just plugged in three cables. Okay, I'm gonna plug this into an outlet. Now let's see if we could charge three devices at the same time. First, let's grab a Xiaomi phone. Okay, that's charging up. Next, let's grab the nothing. That's charging up. And we'll grab another nothing phone. Charging up as well. Charge three devices at the same time with 65 watt fast charging. Now you can charge up your tablets, your headphones, your MacBook, all right, whatever product you got, three devices at the same time. Anyway, check out the Ugreen 65 watt GAN fast charging brick. I'll leave the link for it up in the description. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, as usual, there's always gonna be some things that I don't like, so we're gonna talk about those first. But this is a phone that retails for 400 bucks, so I'm not gonna be too petty, and I'm not gonna nitpick it to death, but y'all know they call me Petty Roosevelt, so I do gotta talk about these issues. Number one, the display brightness. Now this phone claims to have 700 nits brightness, but the display isn't really that bright, especially in direct sunlight. Now if you came from a flagship, a Galaxy S22 Galactus, or an iPhone 13 Pro Max, when you use this phone at max brightness, it's gonna seem a little bit dull. Okay, so I would like this phone to have a little bit more nittage, okay? 700 nits, that's pretty good, but that ain't enough nittage for me. I need a minimum 1,000 nits brightness, okay? Next, the speaker. Now, the speakers on this phone, uh, they're decent, but they could be better. Again, for 400 bucks, we're not going to really complain too much, but if you came from a gaming phone or an iPhone 13 Pro Max, you're going to think these speakers sound like trash, but they're not that bad. They could be better. Next, the phone is IP53 splash resistant. Now that's cool for me, I work indoors, but if you're an outdoors kind of person, or if you work outside, or you got butterfingeritis, and you're dropping your phone in water all the time, you're gonna want that full IP68 water and dust resistance. This one does not have it. Next, 
Now here's another issue I've been having with this phone, the face unlock. Now the face unlock, it actually works. Let me go ahead and show y'all. Okay, well, let me try that again. Okay, just opened. Let's do that one more time. Okay, didn't, didn't recognize my face. Let's try that again. Okay, now it did it. The face unlock on this is not the best, especially at nighttime. Now, if you're outside in the sun, okay, or if you're downstairs right now where I'm at with all these bright lights, then it'll work. If you look directly at it, it'll work. But I noticed that night times, a lot of times, this does not open. And even when it's not the optimal conditions outside, maybe it's a little cloudy, okay, maybe I got glasses on, it just doesn't work that great. All right, the face unlock could be better. All right, that's the theme of this video. This phone has a lot of stuff on it, but it could be better. Okay, so the face unlock, um, it's a little sus. Next. Now, <laughs> this is one of the things that I hate about the Pixel. Same thing with this phone, the lack of customization. Now, I know they're calling it the nothing phone, so <laughs> you basically got nothing. <laughs> I, I get it. But um, I don't like the fact that the always-on display right, is not customizable. This is your always-on display. So if I'm chilling somewhere with 10 other people with nothing phones, and we all got our phones on the table like this, they're all going to look like this. I don't like that. I like to be different. Okay, I like to have different stuff. I like to look unique. This phone is one size fits all. Okay, I don't like that. Next, speaking of customization, same thing with the Pixel. I hate this. Okay, I'm not even going to say I don't like it. I hate this. I hate not being able to move my Google bar from the bottom to the top. Now, if you watched any one of my videos, you see my phone setup is always the same. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I like to have my G bar on the top and then my weather, then everything else. This phone, I don't need to have my Google bar on all of my home pages. Okay, if I'm on this page and I want the Google bar, I can just swipe up and hit the Google bar. This is a missed opportunity. People want customization. Next, video. All right, if you're shooting video, you only got 4K at, oh, you see the lights? <laughs> you see the lights? If you're shooting video, <laughs> I know, I know. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about those. If you're shooting video from the rear camera, you only got 4K, 30 frames per second, no 60 frames. And if you're shooting from the front camera, you only got 1080p at 30 frames. What's up with the 60 frames? Okay, we want smoother video. I know 400 bucks, yeah, it is what it is, but still, all right, still. No 4K, 60 frames per second and no 1080p 60 frames on the front. Next, now this is the biggest issue I have with this phone, and this is the main reason why I went out and bought another one, the night shots. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now the night camera on this is pretty good, but let me show you the issue that I had. Now watch this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just scan through my pictures. Okay, now these are all of my test pictures that I was doing, let me scan through, let me get to the night photos. Let me show you exactly what was happening. And let me tell you exactly why this is so annoying. Okay, here we go. Let's get to the night mode and where we at. Maybe I should have set this up before I started talking about this. Uh, you know. But this lets y'all see how much camera testing I be doing. I don't just take three photos and be like, oh, this is the best. I take this how many photos I actually be taking. Okay, I take a lot of selfies. I try to give the, the company the benefit of shooting their best photos. Okay, now look at the night shots. Pretty dope, but look at this. This is the issue I was having, okay? Now look at this, now I'm just randomly walking around, boom, here we go again. Now it's not like I was trying to take moving shots and all that. Whenever I take my pictures, I hold the phone perfectly steady. You know, I try to, like I said, I try to give the company the benefit of the doubt. So when I post a video on the company's phone, I try to show their best photos. I'm not gonna go through my gallery and pick out the worst photos and post them. I'm gonna pick out the best ones so you can see what the phone is actually capable of. But I kept having this problem. Okay, let's do some more. Now I was taking the pictures at the hotel. Bang, here we go again. And I didn't even notice that until I started scrolling through the photos. Beautiful night shots. And then this, bang. Why is that so annoying? Okay, why is that annoying? Imagine if this is your daily driver. You walking around with this phone, you outside at night. Now this just happened to me. You go to a restaurant, and now you see one of your boys, maybe you see a celebrity, somebody that you want to take a picture with. Do it for the gram. Right, you want to do it for the gram. I say, yo, yo, what's up? Yo, um, yo, um, Jay-Z, can I get a picture with you? And he's like, oh yeah, sure, no problem. So now I say, here, tell somebody to take this picture for me. And I'm not looking or nothing. They need to snap the photo. Then I get home and I see this instead of this. <laughs> do you understand how hurt you're gonna be? 
okay? And then once I noticed it, I noticed that it kept happening. Okay, let's scroll through some more. It kept happening. You see, that was two in a row just now on that one. Here it goes again. It kept on happening. Now, this is totally unacceptable. Now, it's a little bit light outside right now, so I can't really test this one yet. But by the end of this video, I'm gonna let y'all know if I'm having the same problem. I'm gonna pause the video halfway through. I'm gonna go outside, take some night shots with this one. I'll take about 20 in a row and see if I get any of those uh, greenish anomaly photos. If not, then I'm gonna say that maybe this is just the review unit, you know, pre-production software, who knows, okay? So we got a retail version and a pre-production version. We're gonna see if we have the same issues. Now, as far as the face unlock, I did find it to be equally as sus on the retail version as it is on this version. All right, so that's the, my main gripe, the night photos. They can't be unpredictable like that. You know, what if you have your one minute to go viral? This is your one chance to go viral. You got a picture of something that's so epic, and then you take it and you get home and you see that, you're gonna go home and blow your brains out, all right? I want y'all to live. I don't want y'all to go home and do that. All right, so I'm gonna test that out and we'll, we'll cover this again in a few minutes. Now, of course, they call me Petty Roosevelt, so there's a couple of things that's petty. Number one, no charger in the box, okay? I don't like that. I don't care if the phone's name is nothing. I want something, okay? I'm not buying nothing, even though that's the name of the phone. I'm buying something. Put something in the box. You shouldn't have to go out and spend 60 bucks for a charger. Now, I know, oh, you got your old chargers from your old phones. Yeah, but if you want the 33-watt fast charging, your old phone charging brick is not gonna deliver that. You're gonna have to spend money. Now, if you spend 40 bucks at nothing or 60 bucks on Amazon, it's your choice, but the point is you're still gonna have to spend some money. You shouldn't have to do that. Next, the Glyph interface. Now, this is the highlight of this phone, the Glyph. Now, if you don't know what the Glyph is, the Glyph is the name for the lights on the back. That's called the Glyph interface, okay? The Glyph interface, is the highlight of this phone. It's so dope, I love it. But there's not too many choices to choose from. Let me show you. Let's open up the phone. Let's go to settings, okay? We'll go to the Glyph interface. Okay, so here's the Glyph interface. Now for your ringtones, all right, let's change the ringtone. Let's go to uh, nothing ringtones. This is actually lighting up on the back of the phone exactly the same. I'm gonna go through all these so you can see. But this is how many you get with the ringtones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten different Glyph interface ringtones. What a missed opportunity. Now, CarPay, all right? CarPay is the uh, owner of this company. CarPay, let me talk to you for a minute directly. This is whack, okay? This is, now don't get me wrong. The Glyph lights on the back is not whack. That is dope but only 10 different choices. This is a software issue, not hardware. The hardware is already in place. This phone should have had minimum 20, minimum 20, and then maybe glyph packs that you could buy. Now, anybody that bought this phone for 400 bucks, or if you bought it and you got it imported for 600 bucks, you would gladly spend 499 for a glyph pack with an additional 20 different ringtones, 20 different patterns. You should have been able to customize these patterns. Only having 10, you know, that's kind of a letdown because once you start using this phone, you're gonna realize that the 10 choices that they have, they're not even all that. They could have had way better interfaces and you know, way better patterns, light patterns, more elaborate, okay? They could have had ones that give you a little warning. This is gonna take a lot of battery. It's gonna use a lot of battery, but who cares? When I'm going out to dinner and I wanna be showboating, right? or as we call it, stunting, if I wanna go to dinner and stunt on people, when I get a notification, I want this to look like a party on the back. I don't want it to just be a quick little, I want it to go crazy, okay? They should have had more choices for the notifications and the ringtones. Or they should have let you customize it. That would be even better. Now I'm gonna talk to CarPay again. Now CarPay, I'm sorry, I'm, I don't mean, I don't mean to come coming at your throat like that, but I'm gonna talk to you again in a few minutes because I, I do have some ideas for you that you can have for free. You ain't, even gotta, you ain't even gotta pay me for these. But if you wanna put me on payroll, I'm available. CTC, cut the check. But I'll give you these for free, all right? Next, now this is my last petty gripe. I right, call pay, I gotta talk to you again. The name, I right, the name of the phone, the nothing phone, I don't like that. Now y'all remember, look man, y'all remember the essential phone? I didn't like the name of that one either, I get it. It's just the essentials, it's just the essential things that you need to come out with a phone. Essentially, all of the flagship specs, all of the features, the gimmicks, 
bought out that hefty price tag. I get it. Okay, I do get it. The nothing phone, nothing but the main essentials that you need. I get it. I get it. But I don't like it. Now, look, I'm one of these people. I hang out with a lot of tech people. I, I virtually hang out with a lot of tech enthusiasts. We're always having phone wars, phone debates. The name of this phone just makes it too easy, especially for the Apple Mafia. It makes it too easy for them to shit on us. Okay, now I'm gonna give you a perfect example. Every time I pull this phone out, I get the same two questions. Number one, is that an iPhone? That's the first question I've been getting every time without fail. Everyone who's seen this phone, oh, is that an iPhone? And the second question, oh, is that a case? The lights on the back, oh, that's a nice case. Okay, that's the same two questions I'm getting. Now look, people that have iPhones, when they say, what's that phone? And I say, this is the nothing phone, it makes it too easy for them to roast us. Us Android heads. Oh yeah, I see why they call it the nothing phone. This shit don't do nothing. Oh, this shit. You know. This, oh, this is the nothing phone. Oh, how much is it? Four hundred bucks. Oh, no wonder. This is the. It's nothing. It's, it's nothing but a peasant phone. Like it's too easy. Now this was a missed opportunity. Okay. Now call pay. Let me give you one for free. The name of this phone should have been the Glyph. The Glyph One. Think about that. This phone is all about the Glyph lighting. Okay. First, look. look, look nothing. Nobody wants to pay for nothing. I, nobody wants to buy something that's called nothing. You know, subconsciously, you feel like you're getting nothing. Subconsciously, imagine you, you know, it's like, I understand when you go, like, say you go to um, Burger King, you get the nothing burger. Okay, we get it, you know, no, it's not real meat, the nothing burger. All right, that's one thing. But when you're paying for tech products, people want something. They don't want nothing. People want to buy something. I know I do. I don't want to buy nothing. <laughs> I already got nothing. I want something. Okay, now this could have, even the something would have been a nice name, but my personal name for this phone, if I run this company, I if I let me let me rephrase that, if I ran this company, <laughs> yes, and if I run this company, call pay, I'm coming for that neck. Look, call pay. You should have called this phone the Glyph One. Think about that. So this way now, if I put it on the table, somebody says, "Oh, um, what phone is that? That's the iPhone." No, what is that? This is the Glyph One. Ha 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 ha, Glyph, what's that? What's that? The lights on the back. Bitch, that's what it is, Glyph. This is the Glyph lights. Now let me give you the perfect scenario. Now this just happened to me at dinner the other night. So I'm sitting on the phone, I'm sitting on the table, they put me in a Maya at this dark, dimly lit table, right? Now, my, I'm getting old, my eyesight is kinda going the way of the wind. <laughs> my, my, eyesight, uh, my eyesight is slowly slipping off into the night. Let me show you what I did, right? Now, when I want to when I want to read the menu on um at restaurants when it's dark, I usually turn on my flashlight on the phone. Oh, it is what it is. But with this phone, okay, with the nothing phone, you can turn on the video camera and turn the lights on the back and just leave it on like that. So now, if I want to read the menu, I can read it just like that using the lights. And I was doing that. I was reading it like that, and there was a girl right next to me. I had her boyfriend or whoever that was. They were sitting at the table right next to her, and she said, "Oh, cool." She said, "Oh, cool case, bro." Cool case, bro. And I looked out of my and I smiled and I was like, ah, this is the moments that I live for. I turned over and I was like, oh no, this is not a case. This is called the Glyph Interface. And the dude was like, Glyph Interface, what's that? Oh, I'm glad you asked, okay? Because I know you've never seen this yet. I'm glad you asked. Hi, my name's Floss. And this is the, uh, <laughs> follow me on YouTube. This is the Glyph Interface. This is how it works, okay? I got lights built into the back of the phone that go off with different ringtones different notifications. The light does have multi-features, as you see I'm using it right now, as a video camera light. Oh, that's crazy, how much is that? 400 bucks, what? Okay, what? You could have just got a sale just by the name of the phone, the Glyph. How much more sense does that make? Let's keep it real, y'all. If this phone was called the Glyph one, you would be happy for somebody to say, what's the name of that? Oh, yeah, this is the Glyph. Why they call it the Glyph? I'm glad you asked. So this way, now you got an opening to start showing off your phone. If they say, oh, what phone is that? That's the, and everybody, I said, oh, this is the nothing phone. I got the same reaction. Everybody was like, the nothing phone? They gave me that face like, you know, if you just open up some food that's kind of spoiled and you'd be like, eh. Everybody, when I say, what phone is that? The nothing phone, they gave me that look like. Like if I had two heads, like, eh. I the, the name of the phone is kind of important. It's kind of important. Now, it's not really that important, but it's kind of important, okay? I mean, think about marketing, okay? Think about marketing. Nobody's gonna wanna be the nothing phone, promoting the nothing phone. Even if it's the dopest phone and all of that, people want something, bro. People want something, I want something. Call pay, you can have that idea. 
All right. Now, look, let me give you another idea. This is my last petty gripe. Okay, my last petty gripe. It only came out in one version. Now, I get it. It's a startup company. I, I, I get it. But we need another phone. All right. This phone, we need to have this. The next phone, again, if I worked at nothing, I would say, okay, this was a good trial run. But for the next phone we got, we're coming out with the Glyph 2. Okay. That's this phone right here. Same thing, but the Glyph 2, just a little bit more upgrades, water resistance, maybe more knitage, I more knits with the brightness, okay? Maybe 4K, 60 frames, maybe throwing the third camera right there, okay? That'll be the Glyph 2. Then we need the Glyph 2 Ultra. The Glyph 2 Ultra, that one, charge me 800 bucks for that one. That phone needs to have a bigger and better display, okay? More knitage, maybe quad HD, better cameras, better speakers, faster battery charging speeds, full IP68, dust and water resistance, but most importantly, the back of these lights need to be RGB. Now, if this was RGB lights on the back of this phone, it would be game over. Game over. All right, so car pay for the Glyph 2, we wanna see 6.8 inches, okay? RGB lights on the back, and then when you get the phone, the Glyph interface comes with minimum 25 different choices, and a feature that lets you customize each different individual LED option on the back. That would have been dope. Anyway, I know I'm rambling. Let me let me get back to review. I, I, let me let, let me shut it down. Let's get back to the review. Now that's everything that I don't like. Now let's talk about everything that I do like. Starting with the star of the show, the Glyph interface, innovation. This is what I love about this phone, innovation. Now, is this phone worth 400 bucks? Yes. Would I buy this phone for 600 bucks? Yes. And this phone is in my rotation right now as we speak, only because of the Glyph interface on the back. Simple and, sim simple and straightforward. Innovation. Now look, in this day and age, besides the Galaxy Fold, the Oppo Fold, the Vivo Fold, the Xiaomi Fold, the Honor Fold, besides all of these foldable devices, all of these new phones, they all the same. Uh, you know, we kind of plateaued right now with innovation. All we getting is better cameras, okay? We getting name brand, Leica, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We getting Zeiss, we getting name brand cameras, we getting more zoom, 100 times zoom, 120 times zoom. Next minute we got 200 times zoom, like we getting faster battery charging. All right, next minute you're charging your phone from zero to 100 in three minutes. But other than that, the look of the phone is pretty stagnant. They all candy bar style phones. They're all the same. There's really no innovation. This phone is something new. That's why I hate calling it the nothing phone because it's really not nothing. It's something new. The glyph lights on the back is innovation. This is something that a lot of people never seen now. Y'all remember we had the Galaxy S20 Ultra, the cases with the star lights on the back? How dope was that? I'm, I'm mad Galaxy stopped making those. But this is not a case. This is built into the back of the phone, the Glyph interface. Now look, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna call myself. I'm gonna call myself. Let me show you how this looks, how epic this looks when you got it on the table and you copping a phone call. All right, look, I'm gonna, let me dial my number right now. Okay, here it goes, watch this. Watch this. Okay, hold up, it's about to ring. Hey, hold up, watch this. Look at this, look at this. Bro, come on. You got your phone on the table and somebody who never seen this and they see this, instant conversation starter. Instant conversation starter. Now let me send myself a quick text text message. Let me put hi. Okay. Did it go off? Let me do that again. Did it go off? Let's see, I, I wasn't even looking. Let's see if it goes off. Oh, look at, look at, you know, I'm so corny. I'm so corny. But this is the kind of stuff that makes me happy. This is the kind of stuff that makes me happy. Now, me, I get a lot of notifications. If I post something on Instagram right now, I'm going to start getting notifications out the wazoo, okay? This is so dope when you're sitting at a table. Now, you could turn that sound off if you want and just have that little light go off. You know what I'm saying? That, that is so dope. Let's take a look at the actual Glyph interface since we're here. And I'll show you some of the uh, different options. Now, with this phone, we don't have to go through all of the settings as, like we usually do because it ain't really everything is basically just plain. There's no gimmicks to this phone. This is the main gimmick. 
at the glyph interface. So let me show you some of the different ringtones. Okay. Let's let's start from number one. This is how it's gonna look. You just get that little simple ring. All right, that, that, that's kind of dope. Now you got your phone on the table. You're getting a phone call, a notification. Look at that. I think I like that one too. Okay. Come on, bro. This is dope. This is the one I'm using right now. When I get a phone call. Let me hit it again. Oh. Okay, that's pretty dope. And keep in mind, when you're in complete darkness, this looks even better. This looks even better. Okay, that one is pretty simple, you know. Look at that. Get a phone call like that. That one just takes advantage of the bottom. That one kind of sounds like some static. Yeah, I like that one. Like the R2-D2 kind of vibe going on with right there. Pretty epic, all right, pretty epic. Now let's go to, um, da -da -da, let's go to, now you can also, there's a few features with this, with the, um, <laughs> with the glyph interface, okay? You got the charging meter. Let's do that one more time. All right, so when you plug your phone in, Bang. Get a little light. That's a little nice feature. Also, when you use your voice assistant, watch this. Okay, Google. What's the weather for tomorrow? It will be mostly sunny. With a high of 85 and a low of 69. I picked up on this one. All right, so you can do that. Let's do um, da -da -da, notification sounds. Okay. Now, you do got a few different notification sounds. Now, I'm going to go through all of these because this is what you came, this is really what you wanted to see with this phone. I mean, other than that, everything else is the same. Okay, this is a notification sound on the bottom. I keep doing back. What am I doing? <laughs> all right, let me, let me do that again. Let's do that again. Oh, okay, let's go to, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay. Okay, I'm a, okay I, I won't do that again yet. All right, so you got this one. Did we see this one? Okay. Now these are notifications. Not the ringtones, the note. If I do that again, I'm gonna rage out so hard. Okay. <laughs> you got this one, let's see. You got that one and this one. Let's leave it on this one. I like this one. Now, if you want to, you can have sound only or you can just have the lights or both. Okay, now I meant to press back. You also got flip to, <laughs> flip to glyph. Okay, so if you got your phone on the table and you want to quickly throw it into scumbag mode, bang, just like that. Which, <laughs> another thing I want to bring up, this phone is designed for scumbaggery. All right, for scumbaggery, if you're a scumbag, you're going to like your phone upside down like this. Now you got it like this where you get different, once you learn how to use the phone, you get different contacts with different notification tones, okay? So you see one going off like this, you know that's Pizza Hut, okay? You get another one going off a different direction, you know that's your girl, okay? You got different notification, different glyph lights to let you know different people are trying to contact you. And that's what I mean by, if it was RGB, imagine if you would have had RGB lights on the back, all right, so your girl, your girl calling you, it's red, the group chat that you're trying to ignore is green. Okay, your parents calling you is blue. That would have been even better, but I digress. Anyway, so that's the uh, highlight feature of this phone, the Glyph interface. That's the first thing that I like, innovation. Okay, this is, this is why this phone is so dope, in my opinion, the innovation. Next, let's talk about the build quality. Now, that's my second favorite thing about this phone. I absolutely love the build quality. Somebody put this phone in your hand, you're not gonna think it's 400 bucks. Now, you may think that because of the dual cameras, it kinda has that iPhone peasant look to it, but the build quality, I love this flat, the flat candy bar phones like this, which makes it so easy to type on, okay? I Like, y'all hear me say this before, 
curved displays, I hate them. I don't, I'm, I'm not even gonna say I don't like them anymore, I hate them. Especially after using phones like this, it makes me just hate curved displays. This phone just feels so good in the hands, ladies, you know the procedures, okay? It has an ultra premium feel and look to it. Now, if this phone had three cameras on the back, you would definitely think this is a $1,000 phone, without a doubt, okay? So the build quality, excellent, okay? The look, I love this transparent back, not to mention, oh, you, 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 you see, I, I'm so corny, when those lights go, when the lights go off, it just gets me, it gets my juices flowing. If you got the nothing earbuds, okay, this phone does have reverse wireless charge, look at the combination, look how dope this is gonna look sitting on the table, you're charging up your earbuds, you're getting notifications, your phone is flashing, you're looking like a boss, okay, what, what more can you want? Like, this is pretty dope. I now love the nothing earbuds, and I love the look and the feel of these nothing ones. Next, a couple of different ways you can open up the device. Now, if you want to, you can swipe up and put in your pin, no pattern. Now, you can put in your pin. Next, you got your on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works flawlessly. I haven't had any issues with that. And face unlock. Let me see if it's going to be nice right now. Okay, there's my face unlock. Let's try that again. Let's see if we get three in a row. One, two, three. Bong. Now, I'm not going to, I'm going to try that from far away. Now look, a lot of my, okay, now, now it opened a little bit further. Nothing. <laughs> I know, nothing. <laughs> now look, this is how face unlock is supposed to work. Look how far I am from this phone. Let me obstruct my view behind the camera a little bit. Okay, look, look, you know what I'm saying? The face unlock, not the greatest, but it does work. It does work. All right, so that's your different ways of opening up the device. Once you open this phone up, this phone is basically what the Google Pixel should have been. Okay, it's, it's, to me, I like this phone better than the Pixel. Okay, the Pixel does not have face unlock. Okay, the Pixel 6a, plastic build quality, no face unlock. I'd take this over Pixel 6a any day of the week. You swipe over, okay, what's that? Okay, we got the uh, <laughs> we got the Kim Kardashian earbuds. Uh, do we even gotta talk about that video, man? A lot of y'all, I, I didn't realize how many people hate Kim Kardashian, I, I, I really don't care. I don't really care about celebrity drop drama and gossip that much, so I didn't realize how much people really have a deep personal hatred towards Kim Kardashian, I didn't know that. The comments on that video, man, some of y'all really hate Kim Kardashian. Me personally, I don't know her. I, I, don't, I don't hate anybody that I don't know personally. I'm not a big fan of her because, you know, she don't really do nothing that's entertaining to me. But if you're a girl that watches her show, then I can see why you would be into her. Or if you're a guy that likes, you know, big old ass. <laughs> She's got a big old ass. I can see why you would like her, but I mean, she don't really do nothing for me per se, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? but a lot of people just do not like Kim Kardashian. Now, look, lover or hater, she is a hustler. And me, I'm a hustler. You cannot break the hustler's code. The hustler's code is you never hate on somebody else getting money. Okay, you don't hate on other people getting money because that's gonna mess up your plans of getting money. The universe remembers hatred, all right? When you throw out hate, the universe pays you back. So hustlers, we don't hate on other hustlers. So that's why I ain't really got, if I don't got nothing positive to say about somebody, I don't really say nothing at all. I just let them do their thing. <laughs> Y'all need to do the same thing. Let Kim do her thing. Yeah. <laughs> she got a big old ass though. All right, anyway. This, <laughs> I, know, I know people, oh, it's plastic surgery. I don't care. I do not care. All right, so we got 120 hertz refresh rate. This phone is basically buttery smooth. Okay, I haven't had any lag issues at all. Let's check the web browsing speeds. And also on a side note, um, like, I, like I told y'all earlier, it does work in the USA. Let me, um, hold up, what am I doing? <laughs> Let me, I'm um, showing everybody's uh, information out there. Okay, this phone, uh, where, where, where's my uh, interface at? Okay. Okay, maybe I, maybe I, I click something and turn that off. Uh, um, you see, you see. <laughs> Let me see something. Am, am I or am I just crazy? Yeah, my, my where my quick toggles at? <laughs> my quick toggles disappeared. Yeah. All right, let's do let's let, let's do a quick restart. <laughs> my quick toggles disappeared. Maybe I clicked something. Um, I don't know. All right, let's go to settings real quick. Like I said, ain't really too many settings to go to. We already seen the glyph interface. Let's go to display. You got 120 hertz refresh rate. You can change the colors. Okay, you got smooth display. Okay, no real gimmicks with this. No real customization. Everything is the same now. Um. Let's go to one more thing I wanted to see. Let's go to system. Okay, so you do got some gestures. Okay, quickly open your camera. 
Okay, double tap. That's your world star button. Okay, tap to show the lock screen. Flip the glyph. You got game mode. Now the game mode basically just adds do not disturb and miss touch prevention. Nothing really fancy with that. You got multiple users. All your accessibility features. Everything is on deck. All right, let's try this one again. <laughs> Let's see if my okay no that was back. I'm about to say, am I crazy? Hold on a second. Did that just happen? Was my was my um, quick toggles gone just now? Or this is what I wanted to show y'all. Now I'm get, I'm on AT and T. I'm in my basement, so I'm getting 4G. But upstairs I get AT and T 5G service. Okay, let's check the uh, web browsing speeds. Go to Apple.com. Okay, Snapdragon 778G. The G stands for gangster. I just Snapdragon gangster chipping here. 120 hertz, no issues at all. Now you do have actually even more features than the Pixel because you got pop-up view. You can't do this on the Pixel, which is so whack, it's so whack. When I say wake, it's so wake, it's so whack, okay? But you do got your pop-up views. You can exit out of that. And you also got split screen multitasking. Let's do, um, let's exit out of all of this stuff and we'll do YouTube on the bottom. Okay, so we got YouTube on the bottom, Apple on the top. True split screen multitasking. All right, so now let's test out the dual stereo speakers. Of course, I got the official floor sequence sound test by my homeboy Mark Rebier. Here we go. Oh, sound test, tough a sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, tough a sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass, baby? How's the treble on it? How's it sound now? Let's cover up the bottom. Here's the top. Not bad at all. Could be louder, could have more bass. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier. And on a side note, whenever I get to the white shoes part, I gotta check on shoes, you know? But the speakers, they're decent. Okay, they could be louder and they could have more bass. All right, so now let's take a look at this display. Full screen. Basically bezel-less. Okay, little camera right there in the corner. Again, 120 hertz refresh rate. 700 nits brightness, okay? Viewing angles, not bad at all. But here's how it's gonna look like when you're watching your videos. Beautiful. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do a little bit of gaming. Okay, shoes popped up. <laughs> it popped up mad hard just now. All right, here we go. Asphalt 9. Nothing phone 1. Let's get it on. Okay, now this is the Snapdragon 778G. The G actually stands for gaming, not gangster. So you're not gonna have any issues with this. Nice amount of vibration on this too, I gotta add that. Okay. Take my three, oh, okay. Almost wrapped, a little drips. As you can see though, no lag. Let me get over there. Let me get that ramp, bro, let me get that ramp. I tried a 360 in mid-air, I got you. Back up, back up, bro, back up. Coming through, coming through. All right, here we go, here we go. You gotta win it in style, you know? Bang, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Let me turn this up. A little bit, okay, the speaker, Asphalt 9 makes everything extra loud. Anyway, gaming on this phone, no issues at all. All right, so now let's talk about the camera. Now, of course, you got your Worldstar Hip Hop button. 
You want to take a quick photo? Hit the power button twice. Bang, just like that. Okay, let's go through your different shooting modes. Now you got slow motion. Okay, you could do wide angle all the way up to two times zoom. You got videos. Now video, you got wide angle all the way up to 10 times zoom. Now you got 1080p 60 frames per second or 4K 30 frames per second. You got photos, wide angle, all the way up to 20 times zoom. Okay. You got portrait mode. Okay, you can change your bokeh effect, and you got more. So you got panoramic, macro, and you got expert mode. Now, one more thing, just like I showed you earlier, when you're in video mode, you can turn on all one light on the back, just have a video light, or you can turn on the whole glyph lights on the back. Now, you also got a little red dot that you can turn on to let people know you're recording. Okay, now, I think I turned mine off. Yeah, I turned mine off. But if you go to settings, you can turn that on and have that little red dot. Personally, I think you want to leave that off for your clandestine recording. But having the glyph interface as a full camera light is a nice little touch. Now, I want you to take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself. And now that it's dark, I'm going to run outside and I'm going to test out this one and see if I get the same issue with those night photos. All right, so before I show you all the test pictures and videos, let me talk about something real quick. This is exactly why when I get review units, I never bash issues that I have without buying the retail version first. Now, remember I showed you that issue I was having with the night pictures. I am not having that issue with the retail version. Okay, so I took a bunch of night shots in night mode and regular mode, and I did not get that issue one time. Okay, not at all. All of my night photos came out great. Yeah, remember that kind of greenish look? Didn't happen one time. Perfect night shots. Okay? Again, this is exactly why when I get a, a review unit, I go out and buy the official version before I say I officially don't like something because now we can cancel that from my petty dislike list. You're not going to have that issue with the retail version. Perfect night shots. Now take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself.
Now let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now you spent anywhere between four and 600 bucks on the phone. How does it work in the real world? Let's find out. Now, if you bought the minimum version for 400 bucks, you still got wireless charge, okay? That is a dope feature, wireless charge. So when you wake up in the morning, you can see the weather, the time, the date, your notifications, and your battery percentage without touching the phone. Now, when I get up, I do got face unlock. All I gotta do is look at it, bong, opens right up. And you got your on-screen fingerprint sensor. Now, let's check the weather. Okay, let's see. 27 degrees Celsius, that's about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Hopefully I'm right, I don't know, I just made that up. It feels like about 80 degrees. But anyway, mostly cloudy. Okay, let's keep it moving. Next, let's check the Google feed, see if we missed anything. Let's get a quick refresh. Okay, so right now we got Street Fighter V. Okay, now here it is, Deadpool 3, first trailer. Okay, we got the Yamaha flagship earbuds. Okay, now I do have these right now. I'm gonna do a video on these in a couple of days. Got the Asus gaming laptop, okay. Motorola MA1 Android Auto Dongle. Okay, that looks interesting. That looks promising. <laughs> okay, let's see the Xiaomi 12S Ultra Review, size matters. Damn right it does. You got damn right. All right, anyway, so that's your Google feed. You know, get all your news, your celebrity gossip. Yo, did y'all see? Did y'all see um, that celebrity that passed away in a car crash that jumped up out of the body bag? Bro, that's kind of crazy. That is kind of crazy. All right, anyway, that's your Google feed. Now let's do a little bit of work, okay? So this is Android 12, so I got all my Android 12 widgets. Okay, if I want to, I can just play some music and I'll play one of my favorite songs real quick. Let's hit up um, Ice Cube, check yourself. Okay, exit out of that. Got the turntable playing at the same time. I can play my music whilst I go to my work emails. Okay, now this is how you know I'm a fat ass. Why Uber Eats always sending me personal messages and emails? Why Uber Eats be DMing me? Talking about, hey bro, what's up, I miss you. Damn bro, I know I'm fat, but come on man. Uber Eats, take it easy, yo. Let me reply, yo. Chill, <laughs> chill bro. Bro, B-R-U-H, chill bro. <laughs> I am on a diet. Anyway, so that's how your work email is gonna look. Um, one of the things that I love about this flat screen, typing on the keyboard, let me show you how that looks one more time. Typing on the keyboard is nice and flat, it's luxurious. It kind of feels like an iPhone, which one of the things that I love about iPhones, typing on the keyboard. Anyway, so that's the work segment of the day. Now let's do some social media savagery. Let's take it over to uh, Facebook. Let's try not to get depressed. Okay, okay let's see, we got my man Iceberg Hammers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's my, it's my dude right here, man. It's my guy, man. We can tell you some, I can tell you some stories. He can tell you some stories about me too that y'all probably wouldn't even believe. You wouldn't even believe it unless he was telling you. <laughs> Sam, I, I met Iceberg Ham was born straight from the south side. All right, here we go. Let's see, we got dog booths. Okay, I don't know what that is. Okay, let's see how I'm saying. I'm trying not to get, I don't even want to read that because it seemed like a RIP post. No disrespect, but I'm in a good mood right now. My aunt, my aunt is doing it so big right now. Why is she always busting out crab legs? I respect that though. I respect that. Who this? Tiffany Douglas. That's right, my homegirl, Tiffany. All right, she used to be a bartender back in the days at this little spot that I used to frequent. You know what I'm saying? Look at it, like that. <laughs> That's it. Like the free drink statement. Okay, look at Nike. Okay, the, the, the hair looking luxurious. Okay. Like, the funny thing is, all of these people that you see on Facebook, if they, if they told you about me, y'all wouldn't believe it. <laughs> y'all wouldn't believe the levels of scumbaggery from back in the days, but I'm a changed brand, yo. I mean, I'm a changed man. That's right, my nephew right here. Now, everybody asking my nephew, what's up with that song? Let me ask you again right now on video. What's up with that song, bruh? You know what I'm saying? Let me get him like that photo. Anyway, so this is how your Facebook is going to look. And of course, if you want to, you could do some split screen multitasking or you could throw this in a pop-up view and take it over to Twitter. So let's uh, go ahead and take it over to Twitter. While we got Facebook still open, okay? So this way, I could go to my mentions. I could be doing that in any moment, breeze back to Facebook, okay? Or I can exit out of that and get rid of that all together. Bang. All right, so let's see if anybody's talking about me. Let's see, you got the Clips Tiny T10 earbuds. We're gonna need a review, gotcha. Gotcha, bro, let me go ahead. See, now usually when I see stuff like that, I take a screenshot and then later on I'll remember what it was. Okay, Um, why this look like Flossy Carter? Here we go, here, 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 here go the bullshit now. Oh, okay, look, look, look. <laughs> I was about to say, okay, that, that do kind of look like me. That do kind of look like me. What, what, got two bottles of Hennessy? Now I don't be double fisting Hennessy, come on, man. 
I do be rocking Yankee hats, and my physique does kind of look like this. <laughs> so that do kind of look like me. I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Let, 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 you know what I'm saying? Let, let's go ahead and get a little uh, reply on that one. Let's get a little LOL, because that did kind of make me chuckle. You know what I'm saying? A little LOL. All right, let's see anything else. Um, Somebody got their own version of white shoes. Oh, look at that. Look, look at that. Look at that little kid. Look at little cutie. Yeah, he, he he's definitely cute. Definitely cute. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. Let me get him screenshot that. I'm gonna circle back at that one to you. Show some love. All right. Still review. Oh, yeah, somebody said still waiting on you to, to review the Zenfone Nine. I just got it in the mail yesterday. Okay, so I just got the Zenfone yesterday. That is my next phone that I'm gonna review. The Zenfone. Then I'm gonna do the X80. Uh, not the X80. The X Note. And then we go in Samsung Mania. We're gonna start this Flipology Fest. You know what I'm saying? Which I'll show y'all this flip. I, I found some. I found some. I found some interesting tidbits about this phone. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm on boxes in two packages, and I found myself going rah. Okay, look. When you open up boxes, hit them with the rah. You know why not? Okay. Anyway, a shout out to OE Play. I you know OE Play speaker. That speaker is so dope. Okay, that speaker is sick. I actually I'm giving away the white one, and I'm ordering the red one because I need that red and orange combo. Anyway, so this is how your Twitter is going to look. Okay, what is this now? The first smartphone concept built in a, okay, drone, built in drone in a smartphone. You see what I'm saying? Now, this is what I call innovation. Give me something like that. Give me something like that. I got to circle back to all that stuff later. All right, so that's your Twitter. Now, let's take it over to the TikTok realm. Let's see what's going on in the realm of TikTok. Uh, see, check the thought activities. Okay, here we go. Okay, somebody catching a little fresh flight. Okay, we respect that. Me with three black eyes. Real nice. <laughs> was that a joke? <laughs> Taking a picture with somebody who's Wesley Snipes black, that's how the picture gonna look? I get it, I get it. Okay, type in the names of your children. Father, I just wanna say thank you for your children. Okay, I respect that. Show some father some love. We don't really be getting too much love these days, you know? Now, this is the kind of places that I don't be at anymore. Parties that's packed like this. All right, this is monkeypox right here. I ain't, I, I ain't really with the monkeypox events anymore, yo, but it is what it is. All right, let's do it right here. We got a little workout segment right here. Okay, I like that. Let's see. Okay, now this is a family show. This is a family show. That wasn't that wasn't too crazy. That wasn't too crazy, though. That wasn't too crazy. LMU School of Law. Okay, we got we got some edumacation. People out here getting edumacated. Okay. Now, this is what I like to see, cooking videos. Now, although I don't eat fish, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that. Okay, chicks out and about. Okay, doing what they do. Okay, me pleading with the gatekeeper. There's some comedy stuff. Okay, now my dude got a a whole a, a whole room full of Air Force Ones. Okay, maybe he's doing a giveaway. I don't know. Okay, now this is some, some workout videos. I'm trying to get in shape, so I do be watching the workout videos, but it's a family show. <laughs> it's a family show. Oh, okay, but she kind of she kind of brolic though. She definitely kind of brolic. That wasn't bad. Okay, I, li I like when the girls have little baby hairs on the front. I just want to mess them shits up real quick. All right, let's see. Um, <laughs> okay, we got some car stuff. Okay. I thought that was little Nas X. <laughs> Dude, I, okay, why in your skunt? Let's see. Um, okay, we got some some more. There's a lot, of, a lot of stuff like this on TikTok, though. But anyway, so this is how you TikTok. What, she got monkey pox here? That look like monkey pox here? I thought she, had, I think she had monkey pox. I don't know. I ain't not, not ain't trying, no disrespect, but you know, so, look, let me say this also. All right, this is my, my battle rap dudes right here, DNA. Let me say this. If you got monkey pox, please do not make a video and post it. I do not want to see it. We all know what it looks like now. Okay, we get it. Okay, we don't need to see any monkey pox uh, outbreak videos. We get it. Okay, okay. Anyway, so this is your TikTok. Let's take it over to Instagram. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Take it to now, look, you do not want to watch this video right here. You do not want to see that. Let me talk about this video real quick. I'm not going to show it. But um, basically, a girl's having beef with her boyfriend, and she called her two brothers, and the two brothers go running up in the house. Now, rule number one, all right? Don't don't get involved with your sister's boyfriend. I'm speaking from experience. Don't get involved with your sister's, your brother's and sister's girlfriend boyfriend beef unless it's unless it's life or death. Otherwise, they're gonna be back together next week and you're gonna be having beef. Now they ran into this guy's house and got gunned down. They got gunned down running into somebody's house and you can't even be mad at that dude because 
yo, somebody run up in your house and you got the, you know, you got the hammer on you, you're going to get the hammer time. You know, you know what I'm saying? You're going to get the blasting. You know what I'm saying? Same thing. You got the knife on you, somebody run up in your crib, you're going to get the poking. Same thing. Now, we call this the demon duck right here. Why are they always making videos of this duck? This, this cat can never just eat in peace. Let me see if they got the sound on this one. Let's see. Hold up. Is this, look, look. That duck is a demon, bro. Duck, damn, yo. That cat is just trying to have a little, down, trying to have a little meal. Can't even get a little meal. Let's get a refresh down here. Let's see. All right, we don't need to see that. Okay, what we let's see. Um, walking like Michael Jordan. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Now I'm in my basement, so my Wi-Fi service ain't the best. Okay, let's see. Um, all electric muscle car. I mean, this is the way the future's going. I mean, I look, I ain't got nothing against muscle cars. My only question is, do they come in men's? Yeah? It's like, if they make a men's muscle car, that's one thing. You know, an electric car like that, then that's cool. But right now, electric cars, they don't really seem to come in men's versions. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yep. Yeah, I'm kidding. Everybody gonna go tweet MKBHD. Yo, Floss is talking shit about electric cars. Bro, I'm, I'm kidding, man. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, yeah. Yeah, you know. Okay, now this is a family show. Let me take a look at that though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is a family show though. Yeah. Okay. Now shout out to Goob out here exposing all the uh, fitness frauds. I didn't realize how much people be Photoshop, you know, photoshopping their photos until I started following my man Goob. All right. If y'all want to see some some all of these dudes that y'all be idolizing, all of these chicks that y'all be worshiping, follow my man Goob. All right. Goob underscore you too. And you're going to realize that all of them be photoshopping their photos. If you fat, just embrace your fatness, yo. Who cares? Most of them that be photoshopping, they already in pretty decent shape. I don't get it. People just got to be, like, over the top. Did y'all see this video? This dude tried to do a magic trick live on the air. It's supposed to be like a nail on the table. He's supposed to make it disappear. And he slammed her hand onto that nail. I'm not going to show it because this is a family show. But damn, that was... Uh... Now, look, when you see stuff like this, I want to see this video, but I'm not going to click on that. I'm just going to save that for later. Remind me to watch that later. Whatever it is, is somebody catching a fatality. I don't like to see that, but I like to watch those kind of videos to remind me to stay frosty. Like when I watch these videos of people getting blasted and hit... Did you just see that video? Those dudes in the street. And just got mowed over by cars. And remember, people always say, oh, you know, it's, it's always easy to be capped in hindsight. Oh, don't play in the street. Don't fight in the street. But when the shit is popping off, you ain't going to be like, oh, let's take it to the sidewalk. You're going to get it on. But they got mowed down. It was it was crazy. And the reason I watch those kind of videos is to remind me that you got to be paying attention. You got to have situational awareness when you're outside in these streets. All right. When you're in the streets, not the streets. If you're in the streets. You better up your situation with a witness, yo. Because, you know, one false move, it's going to be a lot of slow slinging and foul bringing. <laughs> Trust me, yo. You don't, want your, you, you don't want your name on a t-shirt. Okay, this is a family show. This is a family show. Let me go ahead and save that. All right, let's see. Um, Anything else? Okay, my, okay my, my, my man about to get it in. I like dance videos, too. Okay, okay. He got a few moves. I ain't going to save that. Anyway, okay, family show. A lot, of, a lot of legs going on right there. All right, anyway, so this is how your Instagram... <laughs> I ain't even going to say nothing. Jimmy, Jimmy Smacks. I ain't even going to say nothing about Jimmy Smacks, a.k.a. the Glizzy. All right, anyway, let's see. Um, Y'all see this dude walking around Harlem with a coffin? This is my... When I see stuff like this, that's when I'll be like, okay, time to log off. All right, let me get out of here. Anyway, RDA test, regular daily activities. You're not going to have any issues with this phone, and it's not going to feel like a $400 phone. Which brings me to the wrap-up segment of the video. I right, segment. <laughs> I like that word too, segment. This is the wrap-up segment of the video. Overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give the Nothing Phone 1 a major, major go. Okay? And at 400 bucks, if you could buy this phone for 400 bucks right now, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. Would I buy this phone for 600 bucks? Personally, yes. I would buy it just for the glyph lights, just for the uh, innovation, just for the conversation starter, just to be at that, just to be that one guy at the restaurant who got something different than everybody else. Okay, everybody got their flashlights on the menu. I come out with the glyph lights. Okay, matter of fact, why not? We 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 right, we right here. Let's do one more glyph lighting. Oh, and let me show you something else. I had it like this. Okay, I had, I left my phone on the table like this because Amaya wanted to take some photos. Okay, and they had us. They had us sitting. Um, <laughs> they had us sitting in the in the booth like we about to get married or something. I'm like, bro, we not on a date. But anyway, 
leave your phone on like this on the table in a dark environment, okay, and just get the little glyph lights. This is so dope. It's basically, the, the, the really sum this phone up though, it's a great mid-range phone. The cameras are pretty good. Okay, I'm not gonna say great. The cameras are pretty good. The display is good. Everything is good. The speakers are good. The process is good. The battery life is good. The charging speeds are good, okay? But the one thing that's great is the glyph lighting. I love it, okay? So it's, it's totally worth it, especially if you like me and you're walking around with this. You're walking around with an iPhone in your pocket because you don't want to be that dude in the group chat with the green bubble. So you got one of these already. Now you want an Android phone to play with. You don't want to go out and spend another nine thousand, you know, 900, 1,000 bucks for a phone that you don't really want to use that much. You just want to have two phones. Uh, you want to be two phones Nelson. Okay, you want to have one of each. I get it. This is the perfect phone to have one of each. Okay, so sometimes when I be out at dinner, this is how I'm chilling on the table. Okay, we got the Glyphy, all right, the Glyph one, and we got the iPhone. But anyway, overall, this is a definite win for 400 bucks. I would say buy this immediately. For 600 bucks, you know, you got a little bit of things to think about, but um, if you like what you see, <laughs> and I know you do, I know you like this shit. If you like what you see, then check this phone out. And if you live in the USA, yes, you, it's gonna work. Yes, you're gonna get 5G. Anyway, okay, so I don't see how long that, uh, I wonder how long that stays on, because I didn't leave it on that long. Let's see how long this glyphy light stays on. If you wanna just use it to stunt, leave it just like that. Anyway, the nothing one, or as I'm calling it from now on, the glyph one, all right, call pay. Again, call pay, you, you ain't gotta do it publicly. DM me if you want some more of my ideas, because if y'all watch the nothing earbuds video, Watch the end of that video and watch the uh, recommendation I gave to call pay at the end of that video. I think that kind of stole my idea, but it's all good. I told you you can have it for free. So it's not really stealing it. I told you you can have it for free and you utilized it and it worked. Now I'm giving you more ideas, okay? Lose the name, come out with the glyph name. We need RGBs, we need two phones, we need one a little bit bigger and up the specs. We're gonna give you, you know, we're gonna give you a pass because the price is right. But we don't mind. Up the price a little bit, up the specs, up the features of the glyph lights. This is a window. Anyway, Nothing Phone 1, also known as the Glyph 1. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream dancers on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys alive. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. Put your boat. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Spock won the beam up. Everybody in the world uses technology. And if you're gonna buy some of that technology, you gotta understand certain things. Subscribe to Flossy Carter. He does reviews of all the latest technology. The iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck. The Beats by that doctor guy. And he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here.
a bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.